Hello, and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to talk about tapping. Now, we all know that ER cowls are very good for milling and drilling and can be used for reaming applications, but what are my options when it comes to tapping? RegoFix offers you two different ways to do tapping with your ER system. The rigid tapping collets. Now the rigid tapping collets are shaped just like a standard ER collet. There's nothing spectacularly different about the outside profile. They are designed with a built-in square to hold the square of the tap for positive drive applications and they are made to accept H9 taps and collapse down for that H9 size. So very easy to take the rigid tapping collets and put them straight into your ER holder without any kind of issues. The advantage of the ER rigid tapping collets are most machining centers today have a canned cycle for rigid tapping, which makes the implementation of this collet very easy to do. They are available in ER11 all the way up through ER50 sizes. Now, when you are looking to purchase one of these or trying to find the right size, please make sure that you not only know the tap size you're using, but the shank and the square size. As we do offer collets for different ISO, DIN, and ANSI specifications, we will be asking you those questions when you call in. But what about my machines that really don't work that well with rigid tapping? Or, hey, let's face it, my machine is getting old and it's not quite as synchronized. For those applications, we have the ET1 tapping collet. Now the ET1 tapping collet is an axial compensating collet. By that, we mean it actually has axial float or a cushion built into it to absorb the dwell or drift of your spindle or table during a tapping application. Now, these collets will work perfectly fine in any standard ER tool holder, and they also work by holding on to the square of the tap via set screws, and they, we do require to know the diameter of the tap being used on the shank. But these aren't as easy to use as the GB tapping collets. They do require a little bit more programming. By that, in a standard rigid tapping, I can run a canned cycle. The machine knows how to move and react to the GB tapping collets. For the axial compensating, I actually program the machine feed rate behind the thread pitch of the tap being used. That allows me to pull the cushion out during my tapping application and have tension and compression when I reach my turnaround or my dwell spot in the tap. So please keep these in mind. These are available in ER11 up through ER40 in the DIN, ISO, and ANSI sizes. You can find all that information in our catalog or online. If you have any questions at all about our tapping collets or available options, please feel free to contact us here at RegoFix USA. Thank you for your time.